Juan Soto has spoken about free agency, and it seems what? yeah that maybe his mood has changed just a bit. Let's let's hear. We're gonna be open to listen to anybody and everybody. We ain't we ain't closing any doors. Uh, whoever wants to talk and talk about deals and stuff, I'm open to 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 deal with anybody. I don't have any problem. But that's gonna that's gonna be in the future. We're gonna see if we make it to the future. But right now, I'm focusing on 2024, and I'm part of the Yankees, and I'm a Yankee right now throughout the 2024. And my goals are really clear that is win a championship here. Someone had a conversation. Oh. Someone had a little chitty chat. Oh, yeah. Scott Boris said, hey, dude, I know you love it here, but we are testing free agency. You hired me to test free agency. And that's what I would caution every fan, every media member, every talk show host that likes to say, he's not going anywhere. He's a New York Yankee. The Yankees are never going to let him go. You're talking BS. He may very well stay. But believe me. That decision has not been made right now. Otherwise, what do you have Scott Boris as your agent for? He is going to test free agency, and he is going to go to the highest bidder. Now, will he maybe have a situation like with Judge where a team may offer him a little bit more, and he'll decide, you know what, I'll stay with the Yankees because I like it here more than the extra couple of bucks to go someplace else. But you really think, as much as you love the Yankees, and you believe he wants to be a Yankee, that if the Yankees offer him fifty million dollars a year and the Mets offer him sixty, he's going to say no. No way, no way. Now I don't know if the Mets are going to do that. Maybe somebody else will. But you hire Scott Boris because you want to get the most money possible, and that means testing free agency. So the fact that we even analyze this, Peter, I think is folly, isn't it? Like, oh, he said this. He says he loves being a Yankee, or he says he's good. It's, 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 it's all garbage. It's, all, it's generally all nonsense, guys. Yeah. Uh, that is Diamond Notes brought to you by London Jewelers. Visit London Jewelers today at any of their seven locations, including the Americana Mall and the Mall of Short Hills. And, like, you know, can, can I tell you, truth be told, I, my guess is if Michael was here today, we would have done a whole lot on that story. And to me, it's, 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 it's exactly what Don just said. It, it grabs a headline and it makes you think there's something to talk about. But the reality was, everybody always knew. When Juan Soto came here with Scott Boris, there was only one conclusion here. And no matter how much she tells you you're the one, and no matter how much you're having a great time, remember, she told you, this is summer love. And when it gets back to September, and everyone's back from summer, she's going to test the market and see if there's a hotter guy. So you, don't fall in love. You can have a great time. Have the summer of your dreams, Don. Make memories forever, but just know it may be a straight-up Greece summer love situation with Juan right. Soto and the Yankees. She's going back to Australia. It's just a question of whether you can coerce her to come back. He is testing free agency. The summer is going to go. You're going to go where you go. She's going to go where she goes. Not saying that it's over, but, but testing the waters. And yeah, no one likes you that. Part, there's always a chance you're not going to get back together again. And I know, listen, Yankee fans love themselves some Yankees. And I don't blame you. you got a great organization that only cares about winning, tremendous facilities. They treat their players amazingly. But you hire Scott Boris, it's to get the most money possible. And as long as that's out there, there's a chance, a chance that he's going to go elsewhere. Um, serious question. How could Soto, after playing for the Yankees and being competitive, while watching an empty city field with dumpster fire vibes, choose the Mets? Can't see it happening. All right. I, obviously, you're coming from a place of Met hate, and I, I can't defend you. The Mets have been a dumpster fire. But they did win 101 games a couple of years ago. And if Steve Cohen offers for some $60 million a year, and the Yankees only can offer him 50, he's going to take a $10 million a year discount to play for the Yankees, I don't see that happening. Because Soto probably figures, yeah, I'll go to the Mets, and if they make the right decisions, it won't be a dumpster fire anymore, and we'll win. Again, if he had any other agent, I would say, yeah, there's a chance that maybe you'll be able to sign him before the year's out, and he won't test free agency. But if you get Scott Boris as your agent, you are going for top dollar. Now, maybe it's not the Mets. Maybe it's San Francisco who lost out on Aaron Judge. We'll say, you know what? We'll give him $55 million. We'll give him $56 million. Yankees, are you going to pay uh, $56 million a year to keep him? 
And you hear, you know, didn't we not hear, Peter, we didn't get to talk about it a lot on the air, but this, you know, Hal Steinberg are talking about, you know, budgets, and he doesn't like the where the money's going. Isn't that kind of a hint to say that there is going to be a line of demarcation where Soto might price himself out of New York with the Yankees? So, again, I understand Yankee fans. You have a fantastic team to root for. But the second that he's, you find out Scott Boris is his agent, you have to realize that all the things you love about being a Yankee fan, Juan Soto probably loves that too. But he also loves money. Otherwise, he'd have somebody else representing him and not Scott Boris. Well, Scott, he loves money. Well, Scott, you know what's going to happen? If Scott Boris did that, he would, he, he would be like, I, I'll go find somebody else to be your agent. If you're not going to test free agency and I've got a chance to make you $10 million more a year and you're not going to take it, go find somebody else. (laughs) I'm going to try to get you the most money. And he would probably advise him to hold out if the Yankees weren't giving him the money that he was looking for. So that's the thing you got to factor in. This is not Don LaGreca hating on the Yankees. This is Don LaGreca reading the tea leaves that who his agent is and how history has gone with Scott Boris clients. And let's go to Tom in Islip. Hey, Tom. Hey, how you doing there, buddy? What's up? Good, buddy. I just want to remind you, when uh, Paul O'Neill came up for his contract extension back when uh, the Yankees were winning all the championships, he said to them, if it means for me to take a pay cut to win the championship, do it. That's how Paul O'Neill was. That's I mean, why he's got a life. That's why he's got a lifetime job with the New York Yankees. Right, and for and sure, Juan Soto has Scott Boris as his agent. So, how do you think it's going to go? No, I don't know, but I'm just saying. Back then, whatever they were offering Paul O'Neill was a lot of money, and that's how he felt. If we're going to win, then just cut my salary. All right. Well, th- how do you feel about Aaron Judge? He didn't take any kind of cut in salary. Is he a bad Yankee? No. no. I'm just saying. Listen, listen. I, I think we we hear you. I hear you, Tom. It's a wonderful story. And at the stage that uh, uh, Paul O'Neill was at, that's what made sense right. for him. Bernie Paul Williams O'Neill, the same thing. No, no version of Paul O'Neill or Andy Pettit or Derek Jeter or any all-time great would tell Juan Soto at the stage that he's in right now, which is the next deal is going to be the career deal for him. This is the time when you really cut a deal for someone because you want to play for their team. I'm sorry, just no one would do that. And I know the numbers are so stupid that it seems like funny money. You can't even imagine it. But remember, everything's relative. The money that we were talking about for Paul O'Neill 25 years ago was ridiculous money at that time. So it's just, I hear you, it's a nice story, but... No, no. It's 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 going to be very interesting to see um, Verdugo, Torres, and Rizzo together are all are over forty million, and Soto's getting thirty three this year. That's seventy three next year. So you could make the argument that it's going to be done less than seventy for Soto, which is a ridiculous number to start out with, anyway. What, what do we think the max number even could be anywhere for Soto? We're going to find be... out. Scott uh-huh. Boris is going to find out. And I don't want to paint... You're so right. The, the paint Soto is a bad guy for wanting to get his. No, this is the deal. You this know, is Paul, his career deal. Yeah. And Paul O'Neill did that after winning championships, and he was the warrior. This guy has been here for five minutes. And I'm sure he does love being a Yankee. Why wouldn't you love being a Yankee? They win every year, and they treat their players tremendously. But... You know, you're asking him to take a haircut. You know, I I don't. Well, it's not haircut season. We'll see what he's offered. 